Bruv, what planet are you living on? Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's so easy, easy to, to make, make money, paper. Yeah. Just listen to me, I'm making rich. You ain't got to pay no courses. I'm not talking about the shitty affiliate marketing and fucking join the FBA and fucking Amazon, we're going to become billionaires. Them mans are all scam mans. Fuck the lot of them. I don't care what you lot say. I know everything and I will name and shame every single one of you little waste mans, right? I'm so grateful. Challenge me. Subscribe. Do everything you need to do, yeah? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the CEO Cost. Now, we are in Dubai, and you, as you know, we do it big in Dubai. So why not start off with the biggest that we can get? Straight with... Wait, how do I introduce you? Talio, I'm your Talio. Everyone knows me as Talio. Yeah. Uh, people get a bit confused with the whole Amio Talio thing. They think it's just, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just Talio's fine, isn't it? Talio. Talio's fine. Do we yeah. get your government name in this? No chance. <laughs> no, I don't even know my government name. <laughs> All right, cool. So, <laughs> so for me, growing up, I'm 24 now, yeah? Yeah. I first come about you from Onyx, Onyx Rangers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, people nowadays, different generation, they might have seen you on Instagram live, or they might have seen you kicking off for someone, <laughs> they might have seen some videos or whatnot. So, Everyone knows who you are, but we don't know what you do. Okay. Today we're here to find out. All right, yeah. hopefully it should be interesting more, man. It should be all right, man. So like I said, we mentioned, we'll just start off with a couple of things that you do. So is Onyx still there? Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's still running in the background. still yeah. running in the background. And then what else have we got? It, it depends, isn't it? it? How far back do you want to go? Like, as in, cause we've, we've still got, multiple, we've got a lot yeah. of businesses out there. Yeah, no, we'll go back to when you first, first started. But like currently at this point in time. Currently I've got about. What's paying for the RM on your wrist? <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, it's not about what's pay you know what is in business. See the way my businesses run, right? Some businesses will make me money this month. Some businesses won't, mm. but the other businesses will cover that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter whether one business is making us money enough for me to go out and buy a watch or whatever. It's a, a lot of businesses come together to make it all happen, 100%. right? So it doesn't matter whether one business is bad, the other three, four will cover it. So it's not one particular business that is like, all right, cool, that's that's payroll in my lifestyle and 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 what I'm, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, so it's it's, it's 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 there's a lot that goes on that is it's not specifically one specific thing. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we go any further, I just got to say that this episode is sponsored by Lord Time Pieces. All right, cool. Let's take it back then. Yeah. So <laughs> how old are you now? I'm thirty. You're thirty, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're thirty now. When did it all start for you then? Because I remember on Instagram lives you used to say this is I think a few years ago. That you know you grew up and you wasn't uh, like you wasn't really wealthy like that. You're, you, I think you mentioned that your dad was a taxi driver, am I right? He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up until yeah. like six, seven years. Do you know what it is? My dad was a taxi driver for the last thirty odd, how many years? You know what it is? Is and even up until seven, eight years when we was actually killing it, making paper and that, we tried retiring him off. Mm. And you know what it is? It's, it's in his blood. It's in it's like obviously you do something for so long. You're not gonna just automatically switch it it's off, off and yeah. just so he was sitting around the house, he was arguing, kicking off, just watching dramas, you know, like Asian, you know what I mean? So it come to a stage where he's like, nah, 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 I wanna go back just so he can go out and do something, keep active. So yeah, I mean, he, he done taxis for a long time. Uh, 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 obviously, uh, a lot of people know this, some people don't. I was born and bred in Brent Luton, yeah. right? Which obviously is not the best place in the world growing up. So it was, it, it was all right for me because obviously, I met a lot of good friends that I'm still, still in contact with now, but it was one of them ones, it's, it's, if the stigma around Luton, you, you know what it is, and it? drug dealers and, and just a lot of crime. Not, nothing good comes out of Luton. Mm. So obviously when I was about 13, 14 years old, my dad moved me out of there, my brothers and my, and my sister, and said, look, let's get out of here. They didn't want to go to Birmingham. They didn't want to go to a bit too far out. So in, in, it was in the middle, Northampton was in the middle. So obviously a lot of people know that I'm from yeah, Northampton. From Northampton yeah. So representing Northampton, by the way. I'm the so how old were you when you moved to Northampton then? When I was 15, 14, I'm going to say about 14 actually, about yeah. 14, yeah. So I was about 14. So I got kicked out of high school. Yeah. Right. I got kicked out, I didn't even do my GCSEs, nothing, right? I got kicked out of high school in Luton. So I went to Stop Sea High School, got kicked out of there. And then that's it. My dad was like, you know what, before you start going down the wrong path, we're going to move you out and let's just go to Northampton. So we just like, all right, cool. We just packed up all our stuff and just went. And then... It was all right. It was all right. Like obviously, growing up in Luton and, and growing up around, growing up with the people I grew up with, 
it was nothing but bad news. And then obviously that kind of stigma, that, that, that whole quick money thing obviously stuck with me. Mm. So my first job was actually uh, when I was about th 13 years old, 14 years old. So I was a leaflet boy for my, my uncle owned a, a chain of dominoes yeah. in Luton. So I used to be the leaflet guy. So you used to go around to the doors, putting leaflets through the doors. And what we used to do, what we used to do is on the weekends do that. And that's it. It was cool. And then my, I got fired from there. I, I, just, I just couldn't keep that job down because it was too much walking. I was young. I was active. I just wanted quick money. That's what it was. So then I moved to Northampton when I was about 14. And then I started a job, believe it or not, at BP Peril Station using my brother's ID. So I was working at a BP Petrol Station for about- well, under your brother's name, basically? On my, on my brother's name, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so obviously when National Insurance number, the yeah. ID and everything was my brother's. My brother was a couple of years older than me, so it was right at the time. Yeah. Because you can't get a job until you're like 16, 17 or whatever yeah, yeah, it was anyway. Yeah. So I was doing that, so I was a cashier. So that was my actual first proper real job. And then obviously, you know, what I, where the issues lied was, especially being the guy that's serving the people that would roll up in the nice cars. Obviously, it was a nice part of Northampton. Some nice cars would pull up Lamborghinis, Ferraris, mm. Bentleys, Range Rovers. And them days, I was young. Yeah. So the guys used to come in all fresh, looking all dapper, and, and, and they used to come in with their big whips and they used to pull out their credit cards and this. And, and obviously, in the back of my head, is I want that. I yeah, shouldn't be the guy. I, yeah, yeah you know, you I shouldn't be the guy serving these guys. I should be the guy. That's it. Yeah. And then that's when your mind mentality starts changing. It just clicked to me. You know, I thought, it is what it is. And then I just left that job. And then for a couple of years, I was just doing dumb stuff. And then when I got to about, I'm going to say about 18, that's when we was on a night out. And uh, if anyone knows Northampton, like obviously, it's not the biggest crime central of the whole of the UK. It's, 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 it's one of them ones where there's not much happening in Northampton. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you don't really hear about Northampton you, a lot. You, you don't, you don't. The only person I know from Northampton is it's yourself. A lot of people, everyone <laughs> mentions the Northampton boys, yeah, they probably mean me or my brothers, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, there's not a lot happening, there's not a lot happening from Northampton, mm. right? So it was a night out, and then some lady randomly come over to me, and she's like, yeah, can I buy a gram from you? Because one thing, when I was 18, I was the same size I am now. Yeah. So <laughs> I was big them days, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah 100% same. So, it was one of those situations where I was just dumb, young, naive. And I was like, yeah, I'll get you one. So a mate of mine, he used to take, obviously, whatever it is that he used to take. And um, I just raggle, just said to him, listen, give me one of them and I'll, I'll sell it and make a little profit on there. And, so and what, was that when the first time you'd encountered a drug dealing, basically? That was the first time ever in my whole life. So yeah. obviously I watched it in movies and all that stuff. But yeah. that was actually the first time I actually come across actually selling drugs. So not a lot of people know this, right? So this is like, this is the first time I'm letting anyone know, other than the people that are close to me and stuff like, yeah, I used to be a drug dealer. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? Thinking about it now all the many years ago. And then I just, I bought it off one guy and sold it to one person. And then over a couple of like months and that she kept ringing back and getting her friends to give me numbers. And so saying, basically hey, she was a full on knee. She, she wasn't even a, she, 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 she was a pilot's wife. Oh, is it? Right, so she was, she was minted in the sense where she had so much time on her hands. Yeah. She had nothing to do except get high every night. And it come to a point where she couldn't get anything from anywhere. So yeah. the nearest place was like Birmingham or Luton. And it just takes forever. So it was ideal because I was just there. Local, innit? Yeah. So I used to grab it off one guy and then just literally, <laughs> I remember I used to just literally grab it off one guy, have him wait around the corner and just go see her and just make like 10, 20 quid and that's it. I was happy with that. And it comes to a point where I started making a bit of money. And then that's the first time I actually saw real money. So that two, three hundred pounds, that's 17, 18 what were years you selling? old. Say again? What were you selling? A co coke, man. Oh, okay, straight. straight <laughs> I, I, I never done anything mad like budging or like, like, like that inject, none of that stuff. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. it was just strictly coke and that. And then it comes to a point where obviously where I used to live, I used to live near the university at Northampton. So all my mates were people that went to the university. And then that's when it started growing and growing and growing. And I turned it into a full-time business. And mm. that's when the whole, um, I'm not gonna say, it, it, that's when the whole thing started with the whole drug dealing, that like majorly. And that's when it started going a bit tits up because you have to understand, I was 18 years old. At that point, I was making like two, three grand a week. Yeah. And to me, that was all the money in the world to me. 
you know what I mean? You have to understand that's a lot of money for an 18, 19 year old kid. Let me ask you though, at two, three grand a week, is that what like the big time coke dealers are making? In Northampton at the time, that was massive. Yeah. Right? That was massive. Right? So, because it, it, I only used to do it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, you just make a grand, 1,500 pound a week. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a day. And for me, that was massive. Just do what I want, this and that. And then it come to a point like six, I was just rapidly just getting bigger and bigger. It come to a point where I was making like 10 grand a week yet. And then it, that's when all that's when it went wrong, because once once you start making stupid amounts of money, and when you're younger, then that's when you start doing dumb shit. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. So when you start doing dumb shit, that's when you start getting caught up in madnesses and beefs and this and that, getting involved in your mates' problems and so and so's problems, and that's when your ego starts getting a bit. You know what? I'm like I'm somebody right now. Do you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And that's when it went wrong. And then obviously I start caught, caught slipping. It was, it was just literally one night I got caught slipping, that's it, and that's it. I done I got caught and then they, they found me with like, I think it was like a hundred wraps and that. Yeah. And and a bit of bit of change. I think it was like four or five quid at that time. You know what? Before you continue your yeah. story about where you caught slipping and how it all like played a part in your life. Yeah, go on. Let's slow it down a bit because <clears throat> earlier when we were, like we've been speaking for a long time, we went to do this, uh, I wanna say towards the beginning <laughs> of the year. And then you went ghost, <laughs> basically. I keep neglecting it. <laughs> yeah, you kept neglecting it. Um, and then as we come around to doing this, I was like, yeah, there's a few ideas we can do. We're in Dubai, we could do something, you know, driving around, whatever, do like a carpool thing, or we can come here and do the podcast. <laughs> so I sent you a clip. I was like, look, here's a James Corden clip of a carpool with Migos. Yeah. yeah. And I showed you a clip specifically where they pulled out a bag of cash. I think it was about $200,000. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your voice note. <laughs> If I play it to I was people, confi- I, no, I thought you sent me that to say, oh, this is what we want to do. Yeah, 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 no, 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 I was just sending it just for an example. Your voice not back, if I find it. But yeah, listen, G, 200 bags, oh, that's mine, I'll make a phone call right now. I'll, I'm going to go get my watch from my safe anyway. I'll pull out 200 grand from the safe anyway. <laughs> it's not a problem. Well, have, they got, what did they have? $200,000? That's right, we'll have 200,000 pounds. <laughs> um, I'll leave it as that, yeah? <laughs> did you make that phone call? Yeah, I made that part, but you know what it is? You have to understand, right? And this is going to come up. I, I genuinely thought at the time, you were saying, yeah, just bring some paper along and that's it. Mm-hmm. So at the time, I thought you were showing me to say, yo, this is what we're doing. So I was like, yeah, cool. It's, it's not, you know what I mean? I was going to go get my watch anyway, because I've got a safety deposit box. I was like, oh, cool, I'll just go grab it. Yeah. So yeah, I made the phone call and I told the bank I'm coming. So <laughs> let's go, let's see. See, oh, you, you want to see that? Yeah. Give me my bag, please. <laughs> I actually made the phone call, you know. I bear in mind, people, I was just sh- showing the video, just show, look, this is the sort of thing that we could do, you know, we're in Dubai, let's get a car. No, but this is, this is, like, this is normal in Dubai. Like, you could, you could have, like, money sitting around. That's just, like, walking around money there. Do you get me? It's not, it's not major. It's not, it's not something crazy, in it. But, like, yeah, it's about a mil, a, about a mil, I think it's, like, just over a million dirhams. dirhams. Yeah, man, just give it a little flip, man. Have a little walk around that. So this is what a million dirhams buys you? Buys you? It's not much. Oh, you sorry, can't buy a lot with no, this, no, no. but should we just leave this? You know what? We'll just leave this here. Yeah, just, let's just you know, leave just this here. Stack it, it up. Let's just right let's, in front of you. Can you see that? Let's let's have a little flicker of that. You can't you really do focus it. Are oh, you focus on that one? Come <laughs> yeah. on. You just say, that's that's nice. Let's just leave that there. Flip it up. Dirhams right there. And and a, a UK. That's about. I want to say just over a quarter bar. Yeah. It's about yeah about about. No, you could tell from you could just tell. about 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 250, 300 grand. This okay. alone is two three hundred grand. Yeah. What about the RM? How much is that? What what I paid for it? Or what it's worth now? What what it's worth now? Because that's Gee, what I you don't sell really it for. know. You know, because you know what it is. A lot of my friends they watch dealers and stuff like that. Yeah. Like they, I, I don't really ask them because I know the first thing. Oh, do you want to sell it? Do you want to sell? It? I don't really, I don't really want to know. It's like an investment for me. I just because you have to understand it was my first ever watch I bought. You know, it's mm. just it's just I didn't. But my whole life I've gone through like. Not having, I didn't, it didn't really put, like, obviously everyone that knows me knows I don't do drip in it. I don't, I just, nice t-shirt, fresh jeans. Like, I mean, my t-shirt, I think it's like Zara or something like that. As long as I've got nice trainers, nice bag and a nice little whip, that's cute, me cool. And then I just got into this, just randomly, this this whole watch thing. Because I see, I see people, nice watching, I think, oh, do you know what? And this was the only thing that caught my eye. I thought, you know what, that, that looks nice, I'll, I'll, I'll grab that. So I, that was my first level. I paid like, I think like that, 190, 190 grand. Yeah. Yeah. So look, that's another 200 bags on top of that cash. It, it, right that, now, it I bought up this well. like two years, about, about a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. It's, I think, I've, I'm going to say it's worth 350. Yeah, mad. I don't really know. I, I, 
I reckon that I could fetch it because it's like I hardly ever use, I hardly ever use. I just yeah. leave it in the safety deposit box. Mm. Does that make sense? It's yeah, just yeah. there. Like I, I, you can't wear this rolling around London. I don't know how people do that. But just roll around yeah, London. Yeah, you just, like, hand chopped off. Like, it's, like, it's like plastic. Like literally, yeah. you can just just rip it off and then. So is that the first watch you bought when you were like watch collecting almost? Basically, yeah. That's the first the first one I ever bought. Well, the second one. The first one it was this, this, we have all me and my brothers and my mates. We have the same. Gold, you'll see a lot because we are wearing a lot. It's my lucky. You know, I ain't gonna lie, day. I have been falling in love with arms. They're beautiful watches. Yeah. They're very beautiful. That one's shiny as heck. Let's see if you can see that on the camera. No, it's not gonna focus. And you know what? Let me show you. Let me show you. I'll the, get a close up of it after. Give me my. Uh, yeah, day, no, day let's, day. See, let's see what else you've added to the collection. To be honest with you, I've been a bit shy lately, so I've got the the chocolate face. That's all right. That's nice. That's beautiful. It's a bit chunky though. Mm. Don't know if you can see that. That's How much nice. was that? This uh, at the time bought for like thirty five. I think it's about like forty now, forty five. Mm. It's, it's all right. Still it's all right. Ten bags profit. This is the I love my. These are my everyday ones. So this is what you normally see me on every day daily basis. That's the date just the rose gold. Um, this is a present from. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say a present, but yeah, that was uh, nice because I got it at retail. So I don't buy watches other than that one there. I don't buy these uh, unless they're from the dealers. So big up Sam for hooking me up on that. That's a Pepsi 20, 20 I'm gonna say. How much? I paid uh, retail, so it's like seven grand, seven, yeah. seven and a half. That's but right. I think they're like, like 15, 16 grand yeah. now, so that's all right. Retail, isn't it? Yeah. And then um, we've got, we all, see me and all my boys, we've all got the same watch, my brothers, everyone. So we've got the, it's like basically the same thing as that. It's the same thing as that, but mm. in just gold. So that's nice. That's all right. Money, man. Before we continue the podcast and yes. uh, pick up where we left off, yeah. I just want to make a disclaimer. Yeah. If you are watching this right now and your name is mentioned in this podcast, <laughs> it is not on me. Yeah, it is not on me because I know Talia was about to go in on some people. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> Maybe later honestly, on. I'm not looking to go in on no one. I do you know what it is? I don't care about what other people think in it. Obviously, like it's one of them ones, and I don't really care what people say or do in it. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot more to it that will come in. We'll, we'll get into that. In it. We'll yeah. get into that. In it. So, right, so yeah, pick, a, pick it up where we left it. off. Yeah. Yeah. So we were at the point where you got caught. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am excited and I'll tell you why. Because over the course of CEO Cast, you've seen me wear Lord timepieces. And I'm glad to say they are the sponsor of this episode. And like I said, I've been wearing it for over a year now. So I know what it feels like to have luxury on your wrist. They are some of the most comfortable luxury watches you can get. And for the price, you really can't go wrong. My personal favourite is the one that I'm holding, the Jet Black Bolt. And with them sponsoring this episode, you can get 10% off at lordtimepieces.com. All you got to do is use the code CEO Cast and get 10% off at checkout. They got watches for you ladies and men. So the next time you want a luxury watch when you go out, look no further. Go to lordtimepieces.com, use code CEO Cast at checkout for 10% off plus free shipping. Boy, the amount of people that will ask me how much this watch is is mad. But with that being said, let's get straight back to the episode. Cool. Yeah, so I got, ended up getting caught and I ended up getting, I think it was like just, over, just under five years. So I've done two and a half years behind the door. Mm. Uh, including my recall. So, so you, this was when you were what, 19? About, I think it was just, yeah, just turned 19, yeah. yeah. So I was, I, yeah, just done two and a half years. Two and a half uh, years. Behind the door, Where? yeah. Everywhere, everywhere. I was on tour. <laughs> Woodhill, <laughs> on Lee, I was everywhere. And I ended yeah. up in Catney, I ended up getting kicked out of Catney. It was horrible, man, it was nasty. Do you know what? The, the prison weren't bad. Mm. The, it, the prison's nice, it's light work, but it's, 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 it's obviously missing your family and you ain't got access to just pick up the phone and just ring your mum, your missus yeah, and your yeah, brother. Yeah. And it's horrible when you go on visits and it's, it's, it's just not, it weren't me in it. It weren't me in it. Obviously I'm a nice, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a very positive kind of guy. I'm a very hyperactive kind of guy. And when you're in prison, there's, there's nothing you could do there except just chill. Yeah, that's it. And just, just sitting in your own so there's a complete and, switch of mood from what you're done, done, done. So yeah. every night I was literally going out, partying, going out, doing yeah. this, doing that, to getting locked up, full, full, full walls, you're just staring at the roof and it's just horrible, man, horrible. It's smelling your Padmate shit while he's farting. It's nasty, same place you're eating is where your shit. It's nasty, horrible. Let me, let I wouldn't recommend it to no one. Let me ask you something, yeah? This is a bit more personal. Yeah. At the time when you were in prison, what did your family think? Do you know what it is? They never, my family was supportive in the sense where, obviously, they didn't want to let me, let me know that they're down. Obviously, my little brother, he was like really young at the time. He was like 16 years old. You're from Pakistan originally, yeah? Pakistan, oh yeah, Pakistan yeah, If that was my dad, I would have been sent back home one time. Do you know what? <laughs> he would have sent me straight back to PK. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's obviously we grew up in Luton and my dad's originally from Halifax. Okay. Right? So we're talking, my dad's been around the block in the sense where them days it used to, it never used to be 
uh, uh, <clears throat> it used to be the, uh, what they call the, um, the and no, the those racist people with the bold heads. Man. Oh, um, NF, not NFL. EDL, not EDL. Back no, no, in the no. them days, used to be and NF, skin- N- National Front, National Front. Yeah. Them days, used to, so they used to kick off with all. They, they used to go yeah, like yeah, all yeah. these NF lot. They used to go out packy bashing and all yeah, that. All of that, yeah. Does that make sense? So obviously, my dad was like, he was into his gym and all his mates. Them days, they were big guys and that. So they used to go back off and kick. So they see the whole lifestyle and that's what they, you know what I mean. So it, eventually, it was one of them situations where he kind of just took it on the chin. So all right, cool. What Stun's done. I said, my dad's very laid back like me. Mm. What's done is done, keep it moving, look forward. Yeah, that's it. So yeah. they were very supportive in that sense, which you need because obviously, obviously they didn't want to let me know they were upset because obviously I'd get upset. I'm a very emotional guy. Yeah. Yeah? You wouldn't imagine. <laughs> I look like, a, do you know what it is? This is what, this is what a very big conce- like misconception, right? People think just because it, it looks like, like obviously, you, what are you, like six, what are you, six four? Six three? Yeah, six two. Six two. Oh, so yeah. You're a big guy as well. Right. People people don't realise I'm a big guy as well, right? Like and and they just assume that I'm just like a heartless cunt. Which sometimes I can be, but I'm actually not that much of a cunt. Obviously my friends and family that actually know me, it's a different situation. But yeah, it's, it's you know what it is. But why do you think that is though? Why do you think people think you're a heartless cunt? Because I just say it how it is. People don't like the fact that I just say it how it is. You know what it is? In life, I've been taught by uh, many people in my life, yeah? And I've been through anything you can imagine. I've been there, I've done that. Mm. I've been there, I've done that. Ten times over, right? And and one of the lessons I've learned in life is, you know when you're younger, when you're a kid, and you're scared to tell your dad, oh, yeah, this and that, because what's going to happen? He's going to batter you, isn't it? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Yeah? So what'd you do? You lied to him, innit? Yeah. Because you ain't trying to get bad. Yeah, no, so you ain't lying to people you're afraid of. Yeah. I ain't afraid of no one because I ain't afraid of getting a beating. Yeah, true. Does that right. make sense? Yeah, so I just yeah. say it how it is and people don't like that. But I'd rather sit there and say it how it is and be as real as possible than be fake. Than be fake. I can't yeah. be stand up. You know what I mean? I ain't got fake people around me. Yeah. Right? I'm not fake. Right? And I can't stand that fake. I just walk straight away from that. That's why not a lot of people, are, like, you, you see, you've been, you've been out with us a few times. Yeah, you see yeah. the same people. You see my own, the, the, the boys I be with? They're the boys they're from day one, G. Yeah, Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't have many people around me other than the people I've been with from day one. Mm. Just real people. You can be real. You know, obviously you're out there, you're doing what you're doing. You just have to be real with the people that are around you. Does that make sense? Like, you know that saying, your girlfriend will know you better than your actual family does. The yeah. same with your boys and your boyfriends. Uh, the boyfriends? You know, <laughs> your boys will know you better. Yeah? Your Sometimes boys will know, you know you better than, you know, than, than your family would. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's very important to keep the right people around you. That's true. I've had wrong people around me most of my life. Right? And it's cost me, uh, it's cost me mad peas. Mad peas. I've ended up losing loads of people. We're talking mad money because I've had the wrong people around me. Does that make sense? In what sense? How would they, how would we have, uh, you know, led to you losing? You know, it's trust is a big thing in whatever I do. Yeah. Are you talking about like business terms or just businesses? Like- and obviously, I take L's. I take L's big time. Yeah. Right. Like we're talking in the sense that, like, like any one of my boys sitting around me, if they just turn around and said, "Dude, bro, do me a favor, just, just I need to borrow hundred quid or two hundred quid or half a bot," it's snapping to me. It's like, cause G say no more, done. You don't yeah. even need to. It's and. They won't hesitate. Just, just a quick one for the people who don't understand 100 quid, they took on 100 grand. A hundred UK pounds, yeah. yeah. That's the same with me. If I'm short and I need something to, oh, okay, G, I can't go extra. I'll ring my boys up right now because they will not hesitate within seconds. Yeah. Within seconds, G, say no more. And I won't, I won't need to feel uncomfortable whilst asking them. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, straight. Right? Because sometimes I won't have access to paper like that. Sometimes business opportunities come along and you just need it there and then, bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? So you got to have, make sure you've got the right people around you. I've had a lot of wrong people around me. I've taken advantage of that. Does that make sense? I've mm. had situations where I've given out and given my boys like 100 bags, 200. They fucked me off. But how I see it is, you, you fucked me for what, 100 quid? Bro, do you know how, in this day and age, like, like on, a, on, a, on a serious level, in this day and age, do you know how easy it is to get money back? Do you know how easy it is? Go on. And, and a lot of people know this. A lot of, you just make a phone call. You just make a phone call. Someone knows someone that knows someone that knows someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't bump people nowadays. Yeah, no, 100%, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's one of them ones. There's two ways you can go about it. Mm. Does that make sense? But I ain't trying to be a gangster. I'm not a gangster. I'm not trying to be a gangster. So I so say, you know what? Cool. You do that. Crack on. Just keep it straight. How I see then. that is 100 quid. That's light work to get you rid of me, uh, get, to get rid of you for the rest of my life. Yeah. You would have cost me 10 times more in the future. So you know what? Keep that. You hold that. Don't worry, keep it moving. It happened the other day. Remember last uh, last month? 
Well, three months ago. Eight and a half quid. So I was like, right, that's light work, G. Eight and a half quid, you know, innit? Eight and a half quid. So I said, you don't keep that. And you know what the funniest thing is? I swear, la ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. Look, I've got Rizik in my hand. I'm the biggest cunt joking. One month later, he was supposed to do a job for me where he would have ended up making 150 grand. He was the guy that was supposed to do it. Because he got greedy on eight and a half quid. Look, he lost that out of it. So you got to look at the long run. you got to look so, at it in the wrong run. So basically, to get, the, to get the negative people out of your life, put it right it's down not the that, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying, yeah, here's some money, no. fuck off. Here's, here's 100 grand, here's 20 grand, go chip. Nah, nah, nah. Do you know what it is? It's, I'm good to my friends, my family, right? But the minute someone takes advantage of that, I just cut them off. Yeah, so true. I can't even be asked ringing them, chasing them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I just don't want to know them. Does that make sense? That's why I don't let no new, no, no, you won't never see no new people around me. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you probably see, obviously I'll kick off a lot, right? I'll kick off, but that's because I just, you know what it is? It's one of them ones, right? Like in business, right? We've got a very good saying, like in business, if you want to make someone your enemy, I'm looking at that camera there, yeah? If you want to make someone your enemy, make him your partner, make him your business partner. Do you know how many business partners I've kicked off in the past with? It happens. But obviously, where I've, where I've switched it up now it's, and, 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 and where I've realised is family's, family's the one, isn't it? So I've got, obviously, I've got my little brother. You met my little brother. Mm. He handles everything. Since, obviously, we've been doing things together. But, obviously, we kick off a lot. Like yeah, your today, family, like, isn't it? Your brother's like, you, you're going to you're gonna argue, you're going to kick off. Yeah. Like, even today, like, we had, how, how many arguments have we had? Five. It's a good day, G. It's a good day, G. Family is a lot. Do you know what I mean? We don't, have, we don't like having bottles around and we start launching them. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? So it's, it's one of them ones. But you know what? It's family. It all is cool. Yeah, you can't, keep it moving, you can't you know pick a family. So, you know, you can't, you moving, can't pick it. a family. But obviously, I'm, I'm happy with the family I've got. Does that make sense? My friends, my family, everyone I'm, I'm happy with. I ain't trying to make no new friends. Yeah. You sent me some notes, some, you know, a bio on yourself and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. thing we missed out on was that you started a taxi firm. Oh, yeah. So how did someone get that so idea to start a taxi firm? Obviously, my dad was a taxi driver at the time. Because my idea was to do car rentals and that went sideways, but taxi firm obviously completely different. <laughs> do, do you know what happened, right? Is I was young, I was making pee, and to me, I just wanted to do, uh, business has always been in my head. I've always wanted to be a businessman. I always wanted to uh, be a part of something. Yeah. And be in charge of something, right? And have the responsibility of having people working for you, right? So I've always wanted to be a captain, right? So I've, I've always wanted to be the guy that's steering the ship. Yeah. Well, I've got people working there for me. Cause that's how I, that's I, I just I've always been like that. I've just always wanted people. Cause I'm very good at telling people what to do. I, I don't, I'm very good at giving advice. Mm. Taking it is a different situation, but I'm, I'm very good. Does that make sense? So at that time, I was making all that money, and I thought, you know what? What should I do with it? And then obviously, I ran it for about two years, about a year and a half, just before I went to prison. And uh, sorry, two years when I come up. No, about two, three years. This is say two, three years. And then when I come out of prison, I ran it nicely. I, 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 got, I ended up getting loads of drivers. I ended up getting loads of cars, putting drivers in them days and nights and just getting rent. And it was cool. It was cool. And then what's happened is, obviously, I went to prison. So then I left it to my younger brother to hunt and, and, and my old man. Obviously, they're not businessmen, innit? At yeah, the yeah. time, my younger brother was really young. My old man, he's been a taxi driver mm. his whole life. Does that make sense? So it was, it was one of them situations. And... The you only have no big, control over how it's going to go. It was no control. You can you can only do something from from, from, from a prison. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what I what I ended up doing is when I ended up coming out, I had a massive confiscation. I like I had to pay like two hundred fifty thousand pounds in confiscation. I put proceeds of crime. Yeah. So I had to sell the taxi base because that was the real unreliable. That was the only assets I had other than I had the RS for them days at like in. 2007 or 2000, I can't remember when it was exactly. So they, so they took that anyway. So then the, the money they found and uh, the house is all. So ended up taking all of that. So I had to pay him like 250 grand. So what's happened then is I was just, you know what? Just sold, just sold the taxi base. At that time, there was a company that was, a, they was trying to get a monopoly in, in the whole of Northampton. So it was trying to buy up every single taxi company, firm. Yeah. So they found out that we're in talks to someone else from London trying to sell this place. And then what's happened is, they've come, sat down with my dad, sat down with my brother and said, look, we want to buy you out. Yeah, this is the one from Northampton, yeah, not This London. is the guy from Northampton. So, so, uh, cool. So obviously these lot don't know about business. Mm. And I, obviously at that time, I was emotionally involved with that business because I built yeah, it up yeah, from the ground up. Yeah, so I said, you know what, dad, don't sell it to him, but no less than so-and-so. Yeah. 
they gonna turn around and say, yeah, cool, we'll, we'll take it. So uh, I was like, what? What is so and so? It was like half a bar. Okay, yeah. Right? So th- th- um, half a mil, h- half a million pounds. So at the time, that was mad. Because I'm, I'm just sitting there in a prison cell thinking, rah, man's like 21 years old, 20 years old, I'm just made half a million pounds. Yeah, that's mad. Do you, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So I thought, cool. So if I had to give away most of it to the confiscation, or I've still got some money left over, cool. Happy days. So when I've gone and got rid of that business, that's when it started clicking to me that, you know what? Buying businesses, yeah. as in, uh, sorry, that's when it clicked to me that, you know what? Starting a business, running it, making it beautiful in everyone's eyes, yeah. and then just selling it, was, that was the one. Yeah. And is that something that you would still do today? To the rest, up until today, yeah. up until today. And that's when it set me on that path. You know, in, in life, there's two ways you can go. Three ways, four ways, five ways, hard fork, right? So when you hit that bit, that just like me, if it wasn't for that lady asking me for a gram on a night out, I wouldn't have been sitting it. I'd done two and a half years behind the door. It was nasty, but it put me in the place that I am today. You've done your time in it, yeah. Does that make sense? Because yeah. I learned from everything. I yeah, learned yeah. from all of that. That's it. And I ain't trying to go back to prison. So when, when you come out of prison, yeah. what were you on? What did you do? What do you mean? In terms of, obviously, your, your business. Oh, yeah. So what's happened is, so obviously, I've always made? been into cars. I've always been into cars. So yeah. I was like, oh, back in them days, M3s. Them days, it was like mad things. And then what's happened is I've turned around and, and, and bought a few cars. So I, the first car I bought when I come out of prison was a Range Rover Onyx edition. <clears throat> That's where the name comes from. Okay. <laughs> Range Rover Onyx. They're still around now. We actually know them. They're pretty, they're cool with us. They, yeah, cool. So they're based in Ireland. Um, Onyx, uh, the concept cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're going to talk about. Yeah. They've got yeah. the wide body range. Wide and body. Stuff in them it, days, yeah. that was it. So that was the first Range Rover I bought when I come out of prison. And from then, I ended up buying a few more of the cars. My little brother wanted the S3, so I bought him an S3, and it was like an M3. And, it's, it's, and what used to happen is my mates used to ask me, said, gee, let me borrow your car, please. I'm going to link this bird. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to go out in London. This and I said, your cousin, take it, take it. Don't worry, what's mine's yours? Yeah. What's mine's yours? I'm, I've always been like that, right? And then when he used to come back, and he used to go time for service or get the brake disc change and this and that. They used to hit me with a bill and used to be like, and, then, and, and even up until today, I don't even drive my whips. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? My, like all the half the cars I've got, and I've got like 30 odd cars. Yeah, no, you I've, would only, never I've see, only ever seen you driving the green SV. And the only reason the green SV is because I just love that car. Yeah. I've, and I've got McLarens, I've got yeah, so no, many got Lambo, bank, yeah. You know, I've, I've you know just, what's funny? Funny <laughs> story, yeah. <laughs> I've actually driven your cars before I've met you. Okay, I'm nice. A lot car. of people have. <laughs> My right. mate's driven it more than me. My <laughs> mates have driven all my cars more than me. Yeah. He's been driving it for like, my SV, I haven't driven it in I think about six months. Yeah, probably. He's drives it every other day. Yeah. He's like, gee, I need to take the car. I was like, where are you going? I'll link a bird. Alright, cars. Alright, go on, do what you're doing. And I just forget to ask the keyboard. Yeah. Even right now, my mate's got the car. Yeah. Like and because we obviously we're all chilling here in Dubai. My mate's got the car right now. I'm not fussed in that sense, but so this is so this is what's happened, right? So everyone's like obviously borrowing my cars and this and that and then when it's come to paying for the bill in the service or a uh, uh, brake disc or whatever it is the tires and that I used to get lifted a massive bill so the next time my mate comes say yeah gee let me pull one of your whips I say yeah cool say no more in it run me two bills quickly <laughs> yeah. yeah so when you when you got to, when I got to change the tires when yeah, I got to change covered, the tires it? yeah. it's coming in it they didn't mind it was like yeah gee no problem it saves us from hiring from Tom Dick and Harry and this and that so your and intention then, wasn't actually to no, create no, a car No, no, it was never. From. It was never that. It was. It, that's what I'm saying. It's life's weird in the sense where you just roll with what you get given. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, you just roll yeah. with what you get given, and it was just one of those situations where I just had a lot of cars them days. I've, obviously, I got my older brother, I got my younger brother, mm. I got my mates. So it was one of them ones where we had access to a lot of cars. <clears throat> so I just start renting them out to my mates, and then I remember. I still remember the date. It was like 2013. I started Onyx Rentals. Um, and I was sitting in my brother's bed, uh, bedroom. Yeah. And and these times, this is when Instagram. I didn't even know what Instagram was because I was in prison at that time. Yeah, and yeah, Instagram yeah. was just starting to pop off. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Right? It was there, but it was like it was there because I was, I was always on Facebook since yeah. like two thousand eight, two thousand seven. So yeah, that's everyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I randomly just made a Facebook page and I called it Onyx mm. Onyx Rentals. And then I randomly just made the Onyx Instagram page and, that, and that's it. It just started from there and just rolled with it. And then, yeah, that's it, man. It was, it was, it was all right. And then it led to wherever 
So what's the first car you bought for that? Because I think you had a 13 plate F12, am I right? That was that was a couple of years later. Okay. I think that was like 2014. That's oh. when. Do you know what it was? Is is obviously coming to obviously we're from Luton, mm. so I, I knew everyone in Luton, and everyone in Luton's a baller. Yeah, yeah. Right. So they don't mind spending two, three grand on the whips and this and that. I, I, I sound like a proper roadman right now. I just, I'm not a roadman, by the way. I just sound like this because all my mates talk like this, and it like you put me next to someone from Birmingham, I'll have a Birmingham accent for a week, right? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> so I'm just yeah. So what's that, what used to happen is all my mates and that they used to be rich. They used, they used to sell drugs. They used to be on the you know what I mean, be on road and that. And so obviously then it's like I used to end up getting cars from other people. And I just think why am I getting cars from other people when I've got the paper here, right? Why don't you go buy my own cars? Yeah, does that make sense? And then you could be the one <clears throat> renting them out. Exactly. People, yeah. So then that's when that's and I've, it wasn't actually the Ferrari. It was the uh, Audi R8. Okay. Convert, but the old shit one, the B10s. And uh, do you know what it is? One thing as well, I just, I just got a nasty habit of not selling cars. And I st- up until last year, I only sold that car last year because literally it come to a point where it was just getting, it was like 10 years old now. It was getting bad. It was getting, no, it, no, it, it stopped. We stopped renting that five, six years ago. I just oh, like keeping them. I've got, sh- obviously we've got like two, three showrooms where we just keep cars stored in there. Yeah, I remember you showed me a video or something like that. Time yeah, yeah. I've been, so obviously a, a lot of people know where we keep the rental cars, but obviously we've got cars out there that, we don't rent out. We just got them there. That we sit there and and, and my family members drive. Or, or no one even drives. There's cars there that no one even drives. And they just sit in their classics. And do you know what I mean? And we just leave them parked up there once we're done with it. And then it went to the uh, Lamborghini Huracan. The green one that was ended up purple and all sorts. That was in 2014, That's I think That's the coupe, am I right? That's the coupe, yeah. I'm yeah. going to put some pictures here of the cars you're talking about. Yeah, right? yes. Yeah. So that was the coupe. So I remember getting that car, and you have to understand, I was like 24, 25 them days. Mm. So obviously, I just bought a Lambo, and then then obviously the Ferrari F12, I ended up buying that. And then it just went on, on and on and on, and just before you know it, I was just thing. But the car rental side, that was just a little hobby. Like even up until now, we don't run it no more. I just, we've got a manager set in place. He handles everything. He cracks on. He does what he's doing. We've got drivers. That's it. Let me and, ask you though, what's yeah. your take on car rentals? Because obviously I speak to some people. Some people Car rentals is a... headache. I'll, I'll tell yeah. you straight up. T- we got in at a lucky time. There's only a few other companies out there in Birmingham and uh, 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 what's it called? In, in Bradford and uh, one of com- yeah, yeah, yeah. Car rental companies are dead fam. It's, it's, it's just a dead... Unless you've got other forms of money coming in to cover that, yeah, it's no point. Yeah, and no. you need big paper, because let me tell you one thing, like, like obviously you see me right off my Lambo. Yeah, most time insurance aren't gonna insurance pay Insurance ain't paying you nothing. Insurance yeah. look for every excuse not to pay you. Yeah, it's yeah, as simple yeah. as and that. And when a Lambo's getting written off, and that's when not Lambo, like two my Lambo got written off, it's cost me a hundred quid. Yeah. It cost me a hundred thousand pounds to get that car back on road. Which, are you talking about the- The, the, the grey one, the grey one. The grey convertible, yeah? The grey convertible one, yeah. yeah. So, do you know what I mean? You need big paper behind you, you can't just go into it thinking yes. How much did it cost you to get back on road? A hundred grand. The and cars. it's still not in, and that was, I had the accident in what? Beginning of January? Yeah, something like that, yeah. And it's literally, it's, it's, yeah, sitting in cream development. <laughs> it's just still, yeah, we just ordered some more parts for it the other day. It cost me that number 10, 15 grand for just like, it's just these little bolts, it's just mad. Lamb- you know what it is? It's mad. With Lamborghinis, it comes big price tags, whether it's tires, with its bolts, yeah. but it doesn't matter, it's just long. And obviously, I just, I ain't trying to sell that car. I want that car for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah. it is a nice car. That's though. a banging car. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a well, lot yeah, no, of money. It is headache. Don't man. do car hiring people. You know what it is? A lot of people think, yeah, it looks glam. It's, it's, it's not worth the headache. You know, I've got so many DMs saying, yeah, you know, I want to do car hiring. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Because obviously it. they thought I must have had a deeper chat or something like yeah, that. Yeah, man. I'll be straight but, with you. You know what? It's, it's, obviously, throughout COVID and stuff like that, a lot of these car hiring companies got wiped out. Yeah. 100%. Obviously, if, unless you've got money behind you, a lot of them just got wiped out. So you only see a couple more, do you know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> it's not worth the headache, man. You got to, you have to understand the people that hide these cars. We only do, we only did weddings. We yeah. didn't do this cruising around, chilling with your girl and sitting in the car parks and all Edgy that. Road, all of that, yeah. Just licking it up and down the roads and none of that. So yeah. we only done weddings and even then it was a headache for us. Yeah. So that's why I was like, you know, I ain't getting, because I can't be, you know, I'm not, I'm a people person until I don't need to be. Yeah. Yeah, so I choose, and obviously I'm a, I'm a kind of guy that one day wakes up and I'm in a bad mood, and the whole day I'm in a bad mood. I, I don't want to speak to people. I don't like speaking to people. Even a night out yesterday, half the time, obviously you come out with us last night, loads of people coming up to me and Shut I just can't, I can't. I, <laughs> yeah, that was a good night out to be fair, right? Obviously a, a, people coming up to me, oh yeah, bro, I follow you on Snapchat, I follow you on Instagram, yeah. I love you, you know what I mean? And yeah, 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 and I just... just it's bad, and I know it's not nice because a lot of people are like, bro, this guy's stuck up his own ass, but it's not, it's, it's not, it's nothing to do with you lot. It's just the fact that, you know what, bro, it's sometimes I'm just in a place where 
it's just, I just don't, I don't know what it is. Like, obviously, every, like, see, see me, right? I'm just open about the fact that we all, you know what? It's everyone's fucked up. You're fucked up. I'm fucked. Everyone's got some fucked up shit going on. Yeah, 100%. So it makes yeah. sense. Just because you got paper around you and the nice, you know what I mean? That doesn't change the fact that everyone's fucked up in their heads. You get me? Right? So everyone deals with it in different ways. Obviously, you know the situation I've been through in the last three months. It's been, you know what I mean? So I'm still not fully coming terms with the whole situation. Yeah. Do you know what I make mean? sense? So <clears throat> it's one of them ones where, it's, it's just, I'm not a people person, man. I just come across that on the, because it's nice, you know what I'm saying? Because you're controlling that. So you're putting up your snaps, you're putting up your, I don't like just, I'm not very sociable in the sense where I want to go out and meet random people. Say, What's going, would you, do you know what mm. I mean? I do all of that at work. I just emails, message, that's it, have a phone call and that's it, I don't want to speak to no one. So it makes sense, obviously my little brother handles the majority of the stuff and we've got people that work for us that handle all that stuff. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, but other than that, man, look, look, See what I mean? Look, see what's happened there? What? Well, what are we looking at? I can't even move my thumb right now. So That's yeah, why? Mad. Yeah, look at that. Look. Can to you be see fair, it does look a bit swollen. Do you see that? Uh, look at that. That's mad. Could you get that? Did you get that on camera? Yeah, I can. I'll zoom can't, physically it. can't move it right now. Why is that? Look at that. It's just my body's fucked. G. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. Look how fucked that is. That's, that's is that from your diabetes or something? Yeah, man, it's mad. Look, just random shit. Look, I told you, what did I just tell you about? I'm not used to what's going on with my body. Look yeah. at that. Can't remember. Can yeah, we see that? Can we get a close up on that? It's locked up, yeah. It's locked. Physically And look, that, there you go, it's done. That's it, it's done. That's mad, innit? Imagine that. Imagine that's just happened on camera. That's, that's mad, innit, G? That's mad. Like, imagine we caught that on camera. See, we know what to believe if I told them. You know, it's just mad. I don't know what's going on with my body, G. Like, imagine, like, it's just mad, G. It's mad. What lessons do you think that's taught you, though? What's that? You this know, whole... you know. Obviously, you've been diagnosed with type one diabetes, yeah. That's yeah. What, that's... Like, as soon as the doctor told you that, what's the first thing that went through your head? Gee, I once up until t- you know what it is, yeah. Obviously, I went through a lot. Li- I went through a stage where I have, uh, Alhamdulillah, we've I've got more than enough. Mm. I've got more than I should have. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I appreciate everything. It's not like I'm like, gosh. Should we make, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, when, when you've so called got everything you want, and then you get hit with that, you know what, bruv, you've got like one disease that there's no cure for, and you don't end up taking the right um, units of insulin today, tomorrow, you're not waking up, you're in a coma. Yeah. That's when it kind of hits you, and then you're like, rah. Does that make sense? And I'll be honest with you, for the first, obviously, I come off social media and stuff like that. I didn't bother with social media for all. For about three months and just come off it. So for the first week, I was just getting to terms with it. And you know what it was? What kept me going was just dealing with it. Just kept, just do it, just do it. I don't, I don't like thinking of stuff. Mm. When you start thinking of stuff, that's when you start thinking too deep into it. And that's when you start going down that rabbit hole. And that's one thing you don't want to do. So I just kept dealing with it, dealing with it, just kept doing it, just kept moving and kept myself occupied. And then I'll be honest with you, I did have a little three, four days where I'm sitting there all depressed and thinking, right. Man's got to do this for the rest of my life. Now, obviously, I have my brother with me anyway, right? He's with me 24-7, wherever I go, Yeah. right? But now it's like, I have to have him with me. Does that make sense? I go to the gym, I need him with me. If I pass out, and that's what happens, you pass out a lot. Your legs start shaking, your body starts doing bare random stuff, and, and you just need someone that, if I'm passed out, I was going to put my insulin in. Or if I start having one of those hypos where I've got to start having loads of sugar and stuff like that, because it's, it's not like type 2. Type 2, you can control it, yeah, you can reverse yeah. it. I think there's only ever been one other person in the past that's ever had a reversed uh, type, 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 type one. That's when your pancreas stops. Yeah. Stops you producing it. Yeah, I remember you. Does that you, make sense? You explained this, um, what was it, on Instagram Live, I think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Day, yeah. So that's what, everyone, everyone has a pancreas and everyone, when they eat food, uh, the, the sugars and all that stuff that goes, it goes into your blood and your insulin will take it from the blood and put it into your muscles and your organs or whatever it is. Mine stopped working just randomly. It wasn't because of my diet or the way I was. Or it's just, it just happens to like one in like a hundred thousand people or whatever. I don't even know what this is, yeah. like, right? But some mad stuff anyway. And then obviously it come to a stage where obviously a, a lot of people that know me, that brother didn't look like this like three, four months ago. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like I was in Dubai. I was training as in the sense where I was trying to lose weight. Because I thought, you know what, I've always been to training and I used to stop and I used to get fat. And then used, obviously we used to, we're working, all we're doing is eating chicken yeah, burgers and yeah. pizzas and it's like easy, you know. And then I got to a stage where um, 
I thought, you know, fuck it, it's when I hit the gym. And that's when I get, you see me, I'm a very addictive, but I've got a very addictive person. If I like something, I'm fucked because that's what I'm gonna just carry on doing. Yeah, yeah, that's So that's why I kind of put it off for a while because I know once I get into that gym routine, I'll start liking it. Yeah. So what's happened is I start gym, losing a bit of weight, Losing a bit more weight, and then a lot more weight, and then lot, and obviously in my head I'm thinking, wow, I'm working, yeah, you get the gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm on these fat burners, I'm on the pre-workouts and the pro. I thought, yes, man's doing all right. I'm going through about twenty bottles of this water. I'm thinking, wow, man's just clocked the secret to losing weight, you know? And then I'm sitting there sipping this. That we was on a journey from Georgia. We was in Georgia in Tbilisi. We was coming back, uh, going. I can't remember where we was going. It's like a four-hour journey. I must have stopped about ten times. I'm pissing out, left, right, and so I'm pissing, pissing, pissing. It's literally going in one, it's going in one way, coming out there, literally five, ten minutes. I'm thinking, rah, this is it, because I never used to feel hungry. And, and but it turns it out, it, just, it turns out, so I, I was, obviously, obviously, when I found out what, what was happening, so I had, uh, um, uh, I think it was called keto disease, I don't know what it was, it's when yeah. you're untreated as a type one, that's when your body starts eating your own fat, yeah. What's the whole point of fat? It's, 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 uh, it's not, I don't know what, I can't remember what it's called, man. But it was just the whole reason of your body having fat is stored, stored energy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 100%, yeah. So when you're not getting your food, you, you was eating, but you ain't got no innocent, yeah, innocent you, to you get start it. eating off the fat. There you go. Yeah. So because I was a fat cunt, obviously yeah, I lasted a bit, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? No, so, but what I was going to say is you'd be mistaken for thinking it's creatine. Yeah. Because creatine makes you piss a lot, makes you drink a lot of water all the time. At that time, we weren't training as in to try and get big. Oh, I was just trying yeah, to lose weight, so I was just doing cardio, mm. cardio and stuff. So, obviously, and then the randomly I was going to see my uncle, and he's just like, bruv, you look fucked, bruv. Like, can we swear on this podcast? Yeah, yeah of course. Swear, huh? All right, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like, bruv, you look fucked, man. What's wrong with you? <clears throat> like, normally, when you come back from Dubai, you're looking all glowing, you've got your tan, you, you know what I mean? And I was like, bruv, you look sucked. I said, brother, I don't even know. I've just been passing out. Like, I said, brother, what do you mean passing out? That's not normal. But in my head, I'm thinking, what? I'm just really exhausted because I was going to gym twice a day, yeah. in the morning and the evening. So he's a type 2 diabetic. So he's come out with his little prick testing and that pack. He's like, brother, are you mad? You're on 35. I was like, why? Is that a little bit high? Yeah. I said, brother, the average person is like five or six. I said, like, all right, cool. <laughs> is that a bad thing? And he's like, brother, you need to get the fuck to the hospital right now. So I thought, um, me, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. And then I passed out like an hour later. I didn't bother going to the hospital. I passed out. I called the ambulance. My little brother's gone, we've gone straight to the hospital. And they've done blood checks and that. And they're like, mate, <laughs> you're fucking like a week. <laughs> Must have been like four or five days away from dying. I was like, what are you doing about? It's like, we've done all your tests. Literally, you're a type one diabetic. Like, you're a type one diabetic. If this wasn't like sorted out in the next couple of days, you would have woken up. And that's when it hit me like, rah. And obviously, you have to understand that like, I've never been. Obviously, you, you see my face, and you see obviously you see mm. what it is. And like, we're not going to go into that anyway, yeah. But we're going to the next one. But I've been through a lot. But no one's sitting like deadly. Like that happens is just like a wake up and you're like, Rah. yeah, five days away from death, pretty much. That's mad. So imagine that. Imagine that's playing in my head. Yeah. Imagine that. That's imagine like. Does that make you feel like life's too short, almost? Hundred percent. That's why. That's why I just think to myself. You know what? Like the other day, I was on live and I was running up beer people, violating beer people. Yeah, so yeah. That's fun to me. Like no squid game. Like them man's get bored because they got money in that. But we got money. We got mad money, G. Yeah, we get bored as well. <laughs> to us, this is fun. We, when we start violating people, we start calling out people, and start by just I get bored energy. Do you know what I mean? Why? Why is it? Yeah. That you call people out. I just like it. Do you know what it is? They can't, you can't pull up, you can't pull the wool over my eyes in it. I see why. You know, one thing with me is G. Yeah? yeah, and this is why I'm so successful in businesses. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, but see, you know what? We'll go into that in a second. Let me explain to you why I am the way I am, and yeah. then you'll understand why I do what I do. Go on. Right. Yeah. So when it comes to business, okay. So after the whole uh, car home thing and all the taxi base and like. Obviously, I met with one of my mates. <clears throat> we stopped talking now, by the way, right? But we ended up getting into this whole funding stuff. So we was investing in businesses. We was investing in, like, just random shit. We're talking, like, just random stuff. So sometimes some businesses would make us a grand a week or some businesses make us 10 grand a week. Yeah. But obviously, it was a numbers game. So the more we invested... The more you get The out. more return we're getting out. Yeah, 100%. So at one point, we had like 30, 40 businesses we was invested in. We were just getting... Does that make sense? Yeah, money coming in, yeah. And we was young. We was like... We are talking like five, six years ago. So we were like 25, 26 years old, making mad money. Mm. He was on like fucking 200 grand a month. Yeah. That like them days, it was, it was a lot of money. Yeah, 100%. It still is a lot of money. Today. Do you know what I mean? Well, even today, it's mad money. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? 
So obviously it's it's one of them ones but that's when I start clicking, you know, you know what, this is this is this is the way we need to roll. Yeah. Right? Why are we gonna go through all that hard work of starting up a business and concentrating on one thing when we can just run the paper to someone and say, you know what, you because obviously we're not emotionally attached. So when I go through something like obviously we come to a point where we're just going to like through like 50, 60 pitch decks. Uh, 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 every single day, we're sitting there just. And me, what one thing with me is right. <clears throat> when I look at something and I just state the obvious, I just say it how it is. I don't care. See, see, see the way you lot see me on Instagram, all that, and all these videos. That's how I am in business. I just say it how it is. So when we go through this stuff, we look at it and think, no, bro, that's dumb. That's that's so stupid. That's not gonna work. I mean, just that, that's it, it's done. All right, look at something else. Bro, that's that's just, how is that? Does that make sense? Yeah, and then you will come across. And one then like, that's I'll come to one and be like, right, this is money. this is something. This is nice. Yeah. Now it won't be just like here's the money. No, no, don't. We run everything properly. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you can't just ring me and say, yo, yeah, I've got this business idea. Run me two hundred quid, G. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Everything runs with solicitors. Everything we put guarantees down your house, your mum, your dad, whoever you need to guarantor. Yeah, we start signing paperwork. Don't be, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I ain't, I would never talk about the businesses we've been investing in, but a lot of businesses are out there that are socially media massive and whatever it is, you'd be surprised who, what kind of businesses I actually got investments in. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of them are out there. A lot of them are out there. Obviously, we don't talk about what what we've invested in. At the end of the day, we don't talk about that. Do you, think, do you keep it to yourself or do you tell people that you know around you as well? Only the people around me know everything about me. Okay. Only the, the four or five people I have around me. My brother, my, obviously, my brother's my business partner. So he knows everything down to the teeth. My mates, when they're taking it, if it's something interesting, yeah. they'll they, yeah, cause tell well, what's going on with this? Tell, tell us about this. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. other than that, they, most of the time, they don't care, man. Yeah, no, they don't care, yeah. man. They don't care, man. They're busy doing their own stuff and that. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, we talk, every time we do link up, we talk about money. That's literally the whole conversation we have. Ah, what are you doing? Oh, 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 that's me. You know what I mean? Money's money's everything. Obviously, we sit, we don't do this. You know what it is? The problem is right. And this is one thing that's I get to see what I mean. I get very easily distracted. We'll go into that in a second. But so, so that was what the situation was. So it come to a point where I was thinking, raw. I don't need to be running a business. I can just run multiple businesses, and I'd have to do nothing about it as long as I think it would work, and I think it's a decent idea, mm. and. It, it'd work. I just, yeah, cool. You're basically an investor then, isn't it? I'm an invest, business investor, yeah. yeah. We invest in businesses. We, we've just got a lot of businesses that we invested in. Does that make sense? Would you give it exclusive and drop and say one of the businesses... Gee, you know what it is? It's, it's people don't want to... People don't want to... Does that make sense? And I would never do that. I would never do that for clout. Nah, forget that. Yeah, fair enough. Does that make sense? <laughs> I would never do that. I would never name drop just for clout, man. Why is it that you keep it personal, though? Because, brother, let me tell you one thing. When people find out... You know what it is? It's, it's, a lot of people for a long time. I don't know whether to look at the camera or look at you. Both. Yeah, yeah. fucking us. Keep one eye there, one eye there. <laughs> you know what it is? What we do is very simple. Mm. As long as you know what you're doing and you got the blueprint there, it's the same thing for every single business. It's easy to make money at that. And I keep telling people, bro, you know, in 2021, if you ain't making money today, yeah. bro, what planet are you living on? Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's so easy, easy to, to make, make money, paper. Yeah. It's in, as long as you know what you're doing, it's easy. And people don't seem to understand this. People always want quick paper right here, right now. But gee, you're sitting around in car pots with four or five lads smoking weed, getting fucked, getting drunk up. That's like, facts though. I, 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 would you think? You're going to make money like that? No. What are you going to sit there making money? <laughs> Bruv, you know, you know what the funny thing is, right? Is these rappers, I blame these rappers, G. All you rappers, you're waste man. Except the ones I like. Which one's the one I like that? Dave, he's the bad man. Other than that, you're waste, man. And you know what it is? Let me explain one thing to you, right? These dumb cunts, they fucked it for every single youth there. Yeah? My mate, he's sitting there, he knows all the rappers. And he'll tell them, and I tell him, when I meet him, I tell him straight, you know what the problem is, right? You lot have given them such a bad image on how, and they've just glorified this whole selling drugs and this. You know where I come from, right? People want to get out the hood. They're trying to get push in people it. in the hood. I've met so many mans there, yeah? that have come from such beautiful backgrounds that we could all, you know, imagined. And then they got their fucking trousers down to their ass and they're fucking, yo, cuz, yeah, G, what's good? And then, Louis, you know what I mean? And I think to myself, Smoking rah. Smoking a zoo, cigarette on the yeah, air. Yeah, like, rah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, like, are you mad? I sit there with businessmans, right? And I talk the way I talk because that's just the way I am. But I would love to have a nice, decent, you know what I mean? Like, 
I w- I'd wish I could get rid of all this stuff so I can have a proper meeting. Obviously, it's different when you're the man that's got the money behind you. But if I wasn't that guy right now, you, you, what, you think people take man serious? Talking like this? Mm. No chance. True or not? Do you know what I mean? But we come from nothing. We come from looting, G. Right? No one takes no one serious <laughs> from <laughs> talking the way we talk and being the way we are, right? No one takes no one say. So obviously, when they, and then I see these people trying to act like, like they, like they, oh, that, that don't make sense to me. You don't want to chill around in 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 car parks and smoking zoots and and just like yeah. And then they DM me. But how many DMs do I get a day? What 50, 60, 70 DMs, hundred DMs? Well, say, Every well, other day on my Snapchat. Obviously, I've got, I've got mad followers. A lot of people know me on Instagram. But my Snapchat's the one that's popping. G. Yeah. Like I show you, I've got like eighty thousand followers on them. My, 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 my Snap's popping. Every single day, someone's there. Gee. How do you make money? How do you make money? Tell us, show me how to make money. How do you make money? And I go on their profiles and I look and say, bruv, they got pictures of zoots. They got popping bottles. Popping bottles, what's that other one? What's that? Yeah, well, bruv, you ain't done a day's work in your life. You ain't trying to put that grind in. You want to ask me how to make paper. Gee, why am I going to waste my time on you? Mm. Tell me why I'm waste my time on you. And you then know. I get people that I go on their profiles, they're probably trying to start their business. They're out there, they're hustles. Even like little kids, we get little 17, 16 year old kids that selling sweets and, and just doing mad stuff. They, they, but that's that's all they're, where not, it they're putting in the graph though, yeah. They put in the graph from beginning, G. Look, yeah. I put graphed in from, from when I was a kid. G. It's like it's like you said, as long as they learn the steps from that on yeah, basics man. of business, that apply that to anything. That those look, I think I've been there and done that. Yeah. So I know what's what. Does that make sense? I know what to do and what not to do. But if you're messaging me on Snapchat, Instagram, talking about bro, show me how to make money. And I go on your profile and you're sitting there smoking a zoo like you're a bad man. Like, bro, you think I want to entertain that? No, of course not. My no. time's money, G. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? Let's be honest, innit? My, you ain't paying me. Like, obviously, a lot of people come to me, my friends and that, and I'm, giving, I'm very, like I said, I'm very good at waffling on and giving people good advice. Taking it is a different situation. But you want me to sit there and message you for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, giving you my time a day, and you're not even on it yourself. Like, bro, you don't believe in yourself and you just want to hand out. Don't come to me with that, G. Let me let me ask you something, yeah. I want I want a off the top of your head strategy here, yeah. Go on. I'm sick, by the way. Whatever he says, I'm bad. You know what it is? Go on, go on, G. <laughs> Let's just say someone to take all this away right now, mm-hmm. as well as everything. My brother, perfect. Assets, my brother's yeah. there. I've got Rizik in my hand, and I'll drop dead tomorrow. Tomorrow, if I'm lying, I have gone up, down, up, down to zero. And everyone that knows me knows me. I've gone to zero, and I've made it back. So let me let me just not you, once, yeah. not twice, maybe three, four times. G, it happens, brother. You take big risks in business. So I've taken so many L's and I bounce back from. All right, oh so look, you're, you're back down to zero now, yeah. Yeah. What do you do to make your money back? See, see where the beauty of this is, right? And I'll be straight with you, yeah. I've had it nice where. Because everyone know, says you need money to make money. You do need money to make money. So then, if you have no money, but, how do you make money? But having access to money is a good thing as well. And everyone has access to money. And don't tell me you don't have access to money, G. Because at the end of the day, if you're spending five bills on trainers, or uh, what's a bottle of Srot go for? In shops, not in clubs. Clubs that are bad, it's a rip. That's just dumb. That is just dumb. That is just so stupid to me. I can't understand that. Like, even if it, like, let me give you an example, G, yeah? If you can go out there and feed yourself every day, these McDonald's and, and Nando's and this and that, you can save money up and just live off fucking bread and cheese in it. Do you know what I mean? Let's just say, it's, it doesn't matter. You've got access to paper. you got your family there, right? But how do you expect your family, your mum and dad, that's spent the hard earned, uh, uh, sorry, spent hours and days and months and years saving that money, hmm. yeah, to give to you so what? You can just spunk it so you can smoke zoots. Are you dumb? That don't make sense. Yeah, no, of course not, no. But if you was trying to actually do something decent with your life, right? If you was actually trying to do something decent with your life, then your family would have, you know what? Okay, cool. But if you're just a knob and you're coming back four or five in the morning, pissed out of your head, and like, what would you expect your mom? I'll beat the living shit out of my son if he ever come home four in the morning, pissed out of his head. I will batter, I will catch a case there and then, G. Yeah? But if my son's out there and he's grafting, he's got a job and like yesterday was funniest one, wasn't it? You've got no connections, your network, you ain't got a network. All right, cool. You're on your own. Say again. You're on your own, no network, no nothing, right. no money, make money. You see that? What if you don't have that? If you ain't got that? Yeah. Bro, what planet are you living on? Every single person in the world has this. People don't have, people don't have food to eat, but they got this. All they right, got so, a phone. So let me go on, what would you do with your phone then? 
I was stuck. Just, you have to understand, we're living in a, in, 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 in a world where everything is revolved around your phone, right? Yeah, everything, digital, yeah. everything, everything's digital. We're in the digital world, right? If you can't look, you know what the problem is? A lot of people get too, too uh, um, involved in this other oh, nitty and green. But it's very simple. You just got to ask yourself one question, right? Where are we going to be in three, four, five years time, right? Simple. Don't, don't get complicated. Just simple. Where are we going to be in three, four, five years time? That's what we used to do, innit? We used to sit there and think, oh, where are we going to be in 2021? Where are we going to be in 2024? And we'd make the investments then and let it pay off in three, four years time. Prime example, Tesla. We killed it in Tesla stock. Killed it up until today. We ain't sold it and it hit what? 1,100 and something dollars today, G. We was in from like 300. Come on, G. Why? Because obviously we're going in an age where pet owns not. Do you know when, when, when we realized that this is going to be the one when, when we went to go buy a Ferrari? It's like, listen, this is going to be the last Ferrari that's going to have an actual engine. It's going to be now uh, electric. And then it's like, right, what? Yeah. So we're moving into that era now. So I thought, all right, cool, say no more. So how long ago was that? That was what? A couple of years ago? What? So 2019 and then 2019. You have to understand, right? Is Where's the world going? You just need to go to where the world's going. Like, like, let me give you an example. We're heavily invested in stocks. Like, I didn't know about stocks, G. Do you think I knew about so I just woke up one day and thought, yeah, stocks. I did not know about stocks. Like, let me give you an example, yeah? Like, stocks. I didn't know about stocks up until, like, a year and a half ago. 2019, what were we on? So, yeah. But, like, now, let me give you an example. Like, today was a bad day. It was a really bad day. We don't do none of this pay trading and none of that stuff. We just see where the money is going to be at. We put it into that and, and just keep it, it moving. Yeah. Right? And just sell when we think it's right to sell. Like today's a bad day. Look, I don't know if you can see that. What does that say? Minus what? Okay. In the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, say the figures. It's cool. <laughs> Minus 66 grand. This is what we use on the day to day. So we've got obviously got shares. And the shares is what we got that we don't sell. That's just like Tesla. We've got Rolls Royce. Do you know what happened, right? So I was going to buy a Rolls Royce. When it was in a lockdown. We was in the lockdown, so how are we meant to buy a Rolls Royce and, lot and what drive it? It don't make sense. Mm. So I thought, or not, let's buy the next best thing, which is Rolls Royce shares. At the time, it was dead because obviously there's lockdown. There's no one's no one's flying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah of course. So yeah. shares were down. Yeah. So what I do? The hundred and eighty grand I was going to buy the car with, I just bought hundred eighty grand with the shares. It's like tripled since then. Do you know what I mean? And for the people who don't understand, Rolls Royce make the engines and the planes. Yeah, that's not flying. actually the car. I didn't know that at the time though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that at the time though. <laughs> <laughs> thought we were gonna buy Rolls Royce shares. <laughs> Damn, they're not fucking on the cars. The MW does. We didn't know that at the time. <laughs> we know now. But so thank you very much. We can't buy four now. Yeah, it's mad. And obviously, shares, shares is good, man. Because obviously, we just buy what we use. Does that make sense? Like Louis Vuitton. We put Louis Vuitton. Why? Because I just wanted to buy Louis Vuitton. But yeah, it's funny, isn't it? But obviously, that was when we first started off, G. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just and buy what you see on a daily basis, buy, basically. Buy anything we use, we think it's going to last. Yeah. It's, you know, that's what we were just buying. And then obviously we made a lot of money in that, but I've, had, I've never taken a single penny out of it. Mm. I've never taken a single penny out of my stocks. When do you think you would? <clears throat> I want to retire next 10 years to a point. In about 10 years, I reckon, obviously we're talking me and my brother now, mm. right? So it's not just me, me and my younger brother. How we, we don't do this, your money, my money, it's our money. Yeah, yeah, yeah? We want to be retired in the next 10 years Comfortably, probably sitting on <laughs> a nice amount. What are we saying? 50, 25 each? I don't think we're far off. No, we are, we are far off. We're far off. Yeah, yeah, I, reckon, yeah, I reckon we could do that in 10 years. Yeah, like, but to be fair, that's the if last you're constantly investing in the future, like you said, is always. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. You have to understand, G. Like, like, we've got so many streams of income right now. We've got mad streams of income. Mm. Right? Like, so, okay, look, you just saw. My, that's my IG accounts. That's what I just have there. That's just, if I see something there and then, I just need paper in there, I can just buy it. Yeah. Does that make sense? We bought fucking shit loads of boohoo the other day. <laughs> that, just, that done me. That, that's just a different account. Can I just, that was a different, that was a different, that was a <laughs> boohoo done us. Thank you very much. Right? But obviously, I like the brand. Yeah. Because I think, yeah, everyone uses it. That's enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guys that run that, obviously, when we look into companies that we're going to invest in, we don't just look into it and just say, yeah. We're gonna, we look into the people, right? And the guys that own that business, they're not no joke, G. Yeah, come on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, one, one of the guys I, obviously, I, I, I know very well. Yeah. 
like good friends with them. Bro, let's, they've got no joke. Everything goes down in business. But bro, is when you stay down, that's an issue. They ain't looking to stay down very long. And so by the time this comes out in six months time, the, bro, the stocks, stocks will be mad. It'll be mad. I'll end up putting like a hundred odd quid in that. Oh, that's nice. For me, that's like a decent amount. Do you know what I mean? For, for a little company like, well, it's a big company. But it's one of them ones like, it's not, it's, it's where you think it's over Christmas, what's going to happen? People will start buying stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's down at the moment, there's some slave labor issues. That's, we're not going to go into that. <laughs> but yeah, we look into the company. We've got to do some mad research. Obviously, I'll get obsessed. When I get obsessed with something, I go into some mad stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I cut out all the bullshit and just look at the facts. And the facts are telling me that's going to be a good company. If I'm wrong, this is going to be hilarious. It's going to cost me 100 quid. That's cool. All right, let's move on from stocks, yeah? <laughs> Let's move on. I'm not, I don't do that whole day trading stuff, by the way. That, so you said that's one account for stocks. You yeah, got that's just one. there. So if I want to, like, if I'm feeling something or some news comes out, I can just quickly just put like, blah, 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 yeah. 100 quid this oh, there. Yeah. So I've got stocks in, um, that we're never selling. And I reckon that's probably like two bars, about two mil. It's about two mil. So that's nice. That's nice. And we've got, um, I'm going to say a leverage one where we've got about, Got a decent amount in there. That's that's just leverage. Leverage is a bit risky though. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bit risky. But we only do safe bets in it. We only do safe bets. I keep saying bets like it's gambling. It's not gambling. If you know what you're doing, it's good, isn't it? But don't do none of this day trading stuff. That's when you're gonna end up losing your money. Don't listen to all these people trying to sell you them courses. It's never gonna happen, G. But this is where it comes to that. <clears throat> oh, okay, crypto. Let's talk about crypto. So you know I'm a not a lot of people know this, by the way. I'm a mad crypto fanatic. All I do is just buy and hold. That's all I do, right? And I'm going to be honest with you, it's not, we've not been on it since like, I'm not going to turn around and say, yeah, we've been on it since like 2014 and 13 and see, it's only been a couple of years, year and a half, probably two years max. Yeah, we, we, yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm going to say about year and a half, two years. And the first ever project we ever bought was Link. And that's sitting on some mad P right now. So we've got in the heavily invested, because obviously... I looked in, I know a lot about blockchains and smart contracts and I know a lot about stuff like that. So obviously I get obsessed. Obviously, I'm, you know, I like my PCs and I like yeah, gaming and that, stuff yeah. like that. So there's a lot of stuff that people don't understand. Yeah, I was surprised, you know, when I you know, were alive like, on time. Even you were talking about the cameras and I was like, yeah, 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 what you, what you got there? What you got there? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So I know a lot about grade. I know a lot, a lot about all that stuff. Yeah. I just like like anything you're, you're, you're like tech savvy basically I'm very tech savvy I love it not yeah. a lot of people know that it's, you know what I mean so I'm very tech savvy and obviously computers and stuff like Nvidia we've got mad Nvidia stuff I can forget that we've got mad Nvidia stocks um, <clears throat> yeah so obviously crypto is a big thing that's do you know what it is it's, it's like the, the rush of you know what I mean like I've, I've got we've got so we've got a lot of it we've got on a cold wallet that's just stored away that we're never going to get rid of which has a lot of Ether and Bitcoin it's as simple as that mm. That's just, that will never, we'll never sell. Because at the end of the day, it's one of them situations where we were lucky enough to get a good rate. <clears throat> and every time we have a spare bit of change, we just put it into there and just put it aside. Obviously, um, right now, it's looking all right. Like this is, this is what, like if I feel something or I look into, if, if I have like four or five hours, I just want to sit there and do a bit of research on a project, I'll just quickly go on there. So I'll just go into my uh Binance one, I'll just quickly buy it there and then if I need to sell it in like a week's time or whatever, I just pull out my profits and that that's that. But like when I mean pull out, I don't mean cash out, I just leave it in the works. That's 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 looking nice right now. <clears throat> so that's Wait, that's, hold on. that's that's just uh BTC, yeah, that's just Bitcoin, isn't it? No, no, that's just, a, that's available. It just it gets represented in Bitcoin as well. That's what it'll be, it's Bitcoin wise. So, well. Shall I say that aloud or? Do you want to keep it on secret? No, he's, he's giving the nod. It's only the, no. it's only the trading one anyway. You can do, yeah, go on, you don't bother me. This is what we, this is why if I'm feeling something today, it's like that's a mad dip, I'm just quickly buy it there and then. All right, let, I'll, I won't show it. Oh, no, no, show it, show it, show, yeah. it, show it. Go on, show it, show it, I don't mind, I don't mind. All right, all right. Just I'll keep see. refreshing it though, otherwise, we've got, pull it down. I don't want people saying, yeah, it's a screenshot. <laughs> can they see that? If you can't see it, the figure is 717,000. $769. So, yeah. <laughs> so, What's happening now, G? <laughs> you ain't talking big no more, G. Get your money up, G. Oh, let's leave that there. Yeah, oh. what's going on now? You was confused on money, yeah? Listen, Come I'm going to end it on this one, yeah? What was that? What's that? What's that? So, that's seven, so I've just shown you lot now, right? What, about two bars worth? So we've got 350 here. We've got about a mil here. We've got about 700,000 there. We've got 100 there. And that's just what I've just pulled out today. Some watches there. But, 
So what I'm trying to say is, don't people forget one thing. I'm 30 years old, G, and I'm from where you lot are from. And if don't look at this and think, you know what? This guy's just a flosser. G, I am that. But what would you do if you was in my situation and you was 30 years old and you look as good as this, G? <laughs> Oh, that's a clip for the ground. You would do that. You would do the exact same thing. I'm uploading that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to show Cam and DM on that one. <laughs> I'm still here, but it's a fucking hell. Look, I'm, don't, don't look at it. It's my mic down. I'm going to get a bit excited there. Like, pre workouts kicking in, G. I took a little scoop before and I thought, like, I was bare tired. You have to understand. Don't look at this and start hating, man. I've got plenty of haters. I, don't, I just ignore them. Just ignore them. Why do you not carry on hating? I keep stacking bread. Look at this and get motivated by this. I'm looking at the camera, but obviously, obviously, it, it doesn't. It, you, you're never too old to get motivated by this, right? You're never too old to get motivated by. It. Don't look at this thing. Ah, oh, this geezer's a knob, man. This geezer's just a bro. You have to understand. You have to look. I used to look. You know, is do you know how many mentors I've got? Do you know how many mentors I've got? None of you don't know this. On a daily basis, I'm like, ah, gee, what do you reckon? And, 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 and I, I want to do this. I've already made the decision. I'm going to do this. And I'm just waiting for him to give me a little bit of bad news about it. So, and then I think to myself, you know what? You're right. I'm still going to do it anyway, but it's just good to have a little mentor. Someone you look up to, someone you think, gee, I want to be that guy that has 100 mil sitting there. And I'll get the inshallah ones. You know what I mean? It's one of them situations where, um, put these phones away. I get, keep getting distracted. I might end up pulling out some random, random stuff there. But yeah, you have to understand. Don't, don't, get, don't look at it and start getting hate. I don't want people looking at this. And, yeah. I'm showing you my whole, I ain't trying to, Let's put the money away for a second, right? Everyone can pull out a bit of change and rent a hotel for a day and just give it the lifestyle. Look at me. <laughs> My course is paid for all of this. But yeah. Um, <laughs> let's, okay. You know what? Let's just leave a quid there. That's a thousand dirhams. That's 200 pounds. Let's yeah. just leave this there. Can you see that? We can't see that. We can see that. Right, let's yeah, just no, leave we that there. We can see that. Yeah? yeah? Let's just leave that there. Everything aside now, right? I want people to get my vapor. I don't want people thinking, right. This guy's a snobby little cunt, which I am. I'm not. I'm just saying, what would you do if I was in this? You was in the same. I'm 30 years old. Just keep that in your head, innit? Right? I'm a Pakistan you that's been. Do you know what I do? I laugh at drug dealers, you know? And, 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 and I shouldn't do. But like, like we're going to go back to the whole rapper thing. They've, they've glorified drug dealing yeah. and trapping. And that. Bro, but you look dumb. Your rappers that you lot are bragging you know, on, they ain't got this right now. And this is what? 5% of my worth, 10% of my worth. G, this is what I'm trying to say. They glorifying the wrong thing, G. They should be turning around telling you to go to a, go, go learn some business skills. Go out there and start hustling the halal way, the legit way. That's what you lot need to start doing. You lot looking at trappers, bro. I promise you one thing. And I know the biggest, baddest drug dealers in the whole world. Brother, come from Luton, bro. Even in Dubai, G. We was out with some bad mans last night, G. Even you know what's what. I don't know. Right? I went involved. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing, yeah. I know the biggest, they make pee. And there's only a few people out there that are making pee like that. There's not a lot of people that are making pee like Everyone else is selling drugs. I promise you right now, they're sitting in my DMs looking for, bro, send us your number, G. Send us your number, G. Bro, uh, yeah, I've got this bad boy business idea. Uh, bro, okay, yeah, cool. You carry on selling your drugs, innit? You ain't making money like you think you're going to make some drugs. It's just a lie. It's the, I've been there. Like I said, I've been there. I've done that. I've done everything you lot can possibly think of. And I keep looking at that camera and my eyes are twisting because I ain't got my glasses on. See, one thing about diabetes, what happens is when you guys should go to high, your eyes get a bit twisted. That's what's happening right now, G. So if I'm looking a bit, that's because my sugar's getting a bit high. Chuck me my insulin anyway, just in case. <laughs> Let me show them my insulin. Look at that. I've got to carry around a pen with me. So this, is, this is it, ready. There. Just got to jab that in your belly. Put it All right, G. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, don't look at drug dealers, man. They all, it's just, they are the, that's, they are the reason why us, Asians got a bad name, G. A very bad name. And it's not right, G. Mm. Because let me tell you one thing. You can run a business and run it for a whole year and make more money than they'll make in a lifetime. Yeah, 100%. Yeah? So just stay away from drugs. I'm telling you, I've, done, I've, I've been there and done everything. So you don't need to. You don't need to do that. Look at the results. The results speak for themselves. Name one drug dealer right now that can pull out two mil there and then. When did you ring me? When did I speak to you? Yeah, what, today? Yeah. Um, An hour ago? Two yeah, hours ago? Yeah, look, roughly that, yeah. Come, who could do that? None of these drug dealers can. Does that make sense? This is all legit, all halal. You get me? Yeah? They don't walk around with no 350 bags. That's all they got. If they have, that's all they got. A little five, 10 grand rock. Look at that, man. That's all dumb. Yeah, anyway, 
you lot need to go down the whole route of having multiple streams of income. It's as simple as that. It's a very simple, very simple. That's, 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 you know what? That's what I'm giving away for free. That's what you lot need to do. You need to have multiple streams of income. And I'm not talking about the shitty affiliate marketing and fucking join the FBA and fucking Amazon. We're going to become billionaires. Them mans are all scam mans. Fuck the lot of them. I don't care what you lot say. I know everything. And I will name and shame every single one of you little waste mans. Right? Girls and fucking... What's the other waste man's name that was telling me to get my money up? Bro, you ain't living the way I'm living, innit? G? Who, what? Someone told you to get someone your money up. Someone was to me to get my money up. It's a like, bruv. Who's I've that? I've been flossing for the last 10 years, G. How can you tell me to get my money up? <laughs> I don't know who this is. <laughs> that prick. We're not going to go... Bruv, you have to understand, yeah? You know what? Fuck, Rago, Rago. You know what? You got me hyped up now, G. Yeah. Well, I, I told you this is what's going to happen. You know, pre-workout's going to kick in halfway through. My eyes are going to go all fizzy and I'm going to start sticking it on, man. I'm violating, man. I think you need a cigarette right now. Bruv, I don't need no cigarette. You know what I want to do? I want to tell this geezer straight up, G. Yeah? Listen, when I catch you, you're getting a back and slap and I'll record that for everyone. Yeah? You know what it is? He's a scam. Yeah? All he's good for is marketing. That's what he's doing. He's selling you the same dream we sell birds on a daily basis, G. Yeah? The same stuff, we, the same dreams we sell birds on a daily basis. That's what he's selling you. He's good at marketing. That's all it is. He sold you the dream. He's going out there renting out these whips or whatever it is. I don't even know, rented, police it, whatever it is. Renting out these rooms for a night. <laughs> With your money, G. The money you paid your halal full £500 to buy that course. Yeah. So you have to understand, five people buy 10, like, five people buy. Yeah. I like ten people buy a course for five hundred pounds. That's, that's five a bucks. lot of money. Yeah. That's five bucks. Imagine a thousand people, two thousand people. Yeah. You got three hundred thousand followers. You, you got a lot of money. Paying all these meme companies. Yeah. It's good. Wait, that's, it's good. Yeah, it's cool. But don't tell us you're selling us the dream. Like, bro, no one's helped me out, G. When I was younger, no one helped me out. When I, I'm trying to do it for you, G. What are you selling, G? What are you selling? Some dead course that you can get off YouTube. If you, let me give you an example. This is a very good. If it had value, then you could, I won't say nothing. I would not say nothing. But why were you lying to the people for, bro? Have you bought any of these courses to see it? I've never bought a course. But let me tell you one thing. I know a plenty of fuck. My little cousins are all dopey. Like, bro, I'm a bad man. When it comes to business, my millionaire friends, multi-millionaires come to me and say, gee, what do you reckon about this? I said, yeah, bro. My mate, look, he's sitting in the room with you. I'm not going to turn the camera because he don't want to be seen. Bro, he didn't know nothing about crypto. I promise you, his account's bigger than my account. His account's bigger than my account. You only started a year ago, G. Yeah, that's Not my... even a year ago. What? Since January, February? March, April. March, April. <laughs> Jeez. Do you know what I'm saying? And my dopey little cousins, they see, this is what I mean, isn't it? To just show them the nice People get weird. sucked into it. The they get sucked into it. Yeah. They get sucked into it. These young Bengali, Pakistani boys and things. You have to understand, they want to live that lifestyle. But they don't realise there's nothing comes easy, G. Nothing yeah. comes easy. You've got to put in the years. How are you trying to listen to some 19, 20-year-old kid about how to make millions when the only reason they got the millions is selling you the courses in the first place? Like, are you dumb? How does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? That doesn't make sense to me, G. Does that make sense to you? I'm, I'm baffled. And the fact that you kids are listening to that is just a joke, fam. It's an absolute joke. You just don't buy these courses. If it had value, then I'll turn around and say, you know what, go buy the course. I'll go buy the course. It has no value, G. You can go Google that stuff. You can go on YouTube today and Google it. Bruv, they're still trying to tell you FBA courses and, and You know what's like. mad? Back in the day, there always know? used to be Forex traders selling signals, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then no, the FBA no, no, no. You know what? This, we're going to go to that waste man girls, little tramp. Little tramp. When I catch you, he's going to get another right. You know what? His man's big now, G. So anyone could get it. But I ain't going to stick it on him. I'm just going to get one of my youngest to go slap him up when they see him. Yeah? When they get a 16-year-old kid, the same 16-year-old kid that you fucking bumped a grand. £1,000. You know what the little cunt done? My little cousins don't tell me this shit, innit? Because yeah. they get scared. And they're start, 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 start. No, no one's telling you about it. You only, get, you only lie to people because you're scared, innit? Yeah. yeah. yeah? <laughs> scared to tell me. I see the other day. Like, shit, what you been up to? My little cousins from Luton, yeah. <laughs> They're just little shits. They all hang around together. And they don't listen to me. I can, give them the bet. I can make them rich. Just listen to me, I make them rich. Mm. And they don't listen to me. And they get in the house, it's getting advice from, for free. They ain't got to pay no courses. You have to understand, it's, they got sold the dream. See the little whips, living the nice lifestyle. It's what's the cost of my bag. Mm. They probably made 20 back on just that little trip. Yeah, that's I'm it, trying yeah. to make enough content that's going to last me two months. Yeah. Just change the t-shirts up. Change the outfits. Let's change the outfits. On a daily basis. Gee, girls, I swear, Rizik in my hand, G. Rizik in my hand, G. I'll drop dead tomorrow if I'm lying. And you tell me if I'm lying.
because I, I, I reached out to him because obviously I don't know too much about Instagram, right? Obviously, we're, we're heavily involved in marketing, but just the way these lot do it, it's a bit different. So we wanted to do a little sign sight. We'll get into that in a second. And I just went to the closest person I knew, because obviously he followed me at the time, and it was that like, girls, and I was like, he's like, yeah, gee, I'll show you what's what, and I know loads of these meme companies, and they'll promote your shit for so-and-so, and I'll get a better rate. I was like, yeah, but if I go to them directly, they'll whack me, because my man's already using them, they'll give me a discount. discount it makes right, sense, yeah. doesn't it? Gee, yeah, rent me a whip. I only need it for like three, four days though, and I'm the biggest liar going. And I don't know me, because look, how many businesses have you asked? Have you been asked because of what you invest? I don't say nothing. But if someone's chatting shit and thinking that I will rag or ross, I'll just rag or violate it. <laughs> Jeez, I need to get a week's worth of content, two weeks worth of content. I love you, cause I'm the biggest bastard. I'm the biggest bastard going if I'm joking. Yeah. And Jeez, <laughs> I wish I did. Like, I still got the comments. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm not G, take the R8 G, it's mine now. Actually, I'm alright, I just want the A5. That's alright G, what content are you going to get out of that? Anyway, listen, and then I promise you, and I said, listen, I'm just genuinely interested, right? Do you make money off this? I swear my mum's life, I'll drop dead tomorrow, like I said. G, no one's making no money in it. The money they make, they have to put back into the promotions. Because think about it, there's a million people selling you this bottle of water. You want to get yours to the top, what you got to do? You got to promote it, innit? So what are you going to do? You sell 10 bottles, you make 10 quid, you want to put 10 quids worth of advertising money back into it. Yeah, so what, you more. think you're the only Muppet that's selling a bottle of water? No. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the, it, 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 that's, that's irrelevant, that don't make sense. FBA is dead, Amazon's dead, G. Everyone's done, it's done, it's done. Why are you trying to still sell? It don't make sense, leave that out. You've done my little cousin, when I see you, I'm going to slap you up, I'm going to take that bag straight off you. Yeah? Here's what real money looks like. Should we get the money? Uh, you know what? We've done the money thing. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> What else? What's good, man? <laughs> Give me work now. I don't know. You tell me. What you want to know, innit? <laughs> What's the last thing I got on my nose? That was, I think that was uh, the last thing, to be fair. The scammers and, and baiting man's out. But you, like I said, if anyone searches your name, if anyone writes Amy Otalio on YouTube or something like that, it's, it's, always, it's always a video of a it's fight or something news, like that. You have to Why is it? Do you know what it is? You know what it is? I don't take no bullshit from no one. Mm. I don't, I, whether it's people that work for me or what. Like, my little brother standing there, he knows what I'm like in business. I'm exactly the same way as I am right now. Yeah. I'll get some, like, this is what I do. This is what I do right now, as of right now, right? I'll think of, I'm, I've got a very short attention span yeah. to the point where I'll be talking, like, like, even in this conversation, in this whole podcast, how long has it been going on for? Uh, a long time. Yeah. And I've talk, I just, just jump from one thing to another. See, with me, that, and that works for me. You just work with what you've got. You don't try changing it up. You just work with what you've got, right? Now, I've got a very short attention span. So when I think of something, I'll just be randomly sitting there and I'll think of a beautiful idea and I'll just run with it. All right, cool. And I'll quick time, put my team onto it. And I'll pull one, two people from this that's working on this project, that project. I'll pull them off and say, okay, this is what I want you to work on. Just do what you did. I'll leave it to them. I'll leave it to their command. And I'll just steer them in the right direction. Mm. Right? And I won't get too heavily involved. So this is what I want. And I'll stay up two nights, three nights a week, whatever it is. And I'll do as much research as I possibly can. If, it, if I genuinely think it works, and my little brother's normally the one that's trying to say, gee, that'll work, yeah. right? And then we'll say, right, cool, this is the business we're doing now, right? And what I'll do is I'll let them go off, let them do what they're doing. I'll steer them in the right direction. This is what I want, this is what I want, this one. And I'll just leave them to it. I'll come back to them two, three weeks later. They'll be all working offices in the same office. So my office is, we've got one in London, we've got one in Northampton. Obviously, we're trying to get one sorted here in Dubai. But to be honest with you, I, I like working from my phone, mobile, it's like by the beach and the pool and all that. So, and, then, and what happened is they'll come back to me two, three weeks later. That's it. And then this is where, this is where it's because I'm very blunt and very honest. And I look at them and I don't care they spent two, three weeks on it. And I'll turn around and look at them and say, that's stupid, that's not going to work. Change that. So even though they'll spend two weeks on it, when I look at something, I'll just turn around and say, oh, that's dumb. This is, the, this is that, this is that. Change this, change this there. And this is where I have an advantage because I just look at it from... I don't go too deep into something. Does that make sense? Not overcomplicated. You don't. Op I'm very picky about like, what I put out there. Or uh, it, it, these lot of hate. Like even today when I got a trim, I swear on my mum's life, the guy's doing my, my my trim and I take it off him all the time. So I'll do it myself, G. And I still paid him. I paid him hundred trims. And there you go. Let me just do it myself because I'm very picky. Everything has to be perfect for me, mm. right? And that's that's the way I am. And that works for me. So you just work with the way you are. 
Yeah, that's it. Does that make sense? You don't try changing up, you just work with what you want, right? And that works for me. And that's how it is. I'm just, I'll just say it how it is. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, we're not doing this to be unsuccessful. We're doing this so we all get paid. I don't get paid, you don't get paid, G. Yeah? So we need to make sure this thing runs safe because no one cares whether... Let me explain one thing to you, right? No one's going to ring up my worker, my tech guy or my uh, uh, web developer or my uh, whatever. No one's going to ring them up and say, gee, you've got a bit of a situation. They're ringing me up. Yeah. I'm the captain of this ship. Yeah. The ship goes down. They don't go to the staff. They come to me. Yeah. It's all on my head. Yeah. So I make sure I'm steering the ship in the right direction. Then. That's what my job is. And my little brother's there to make sure I keep grounded and I'll be straight. If it wasn't for him and my mates, they all sit in there. All, they all sit in there. I'd be, but you imagine how big my head is right now. I'll be twice as, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it wasn't for them. So you need someone close to you, make sure they keep you grounded. That's so it. that's that. Obviously reverting back to the whole watches and all that stuff. Yeah, you don't just buy things spontaneously, do you? I, I do buy stuff spontaneously, but I'll do a bit of research into why With I'd purpose, like. yeah. With purpose, everything I do is I'm a very calculated guy. Yeah. Everything I say, everything I do is for a reason. Mm. Whether it's setting you up for something a day down the line or a year down the line or two years now, five, ten years now, it's, everything I do is for a reason. Yeah. Right? So obviously, like I, I keep telling people, you can't just rely on one thing to make you money because tomorrow that income stops, you're, you're done. You're broke, G. You, you ain't living that lifestyle. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. So I have multiple, mu multiple incomes. So even if one doesn't make me enough paper, the others make it. Does that make sense? 100%. So obviously watches, like, I just see as an investment. Same way as cars, and like obviously, I'll just buy something if I like it and I know it's going to go up, I'll just buy it, put it away. And you don't see me wearing it out. So it makes sense. Anytime mm. you do see me, it's just when I'm flossing, like, you know what I mean? I thought it was a podcast, I thought I'd bring it out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Makes sense. Appreciate makes that. Sense, <laughs> it? Yes. Good time pieces. Come at me, man. <laughs> yeah? You need to have multiple streams of income. You need to. You need to have different, different. But don't just <clears throat> do 10 businesses and think, yeah, that's, that's it. Concentrate on one, move over to the next one. Once that's making you pay, 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 move over to the next one. But always gradually have, uh, what I'm very good at is setting up something, yeah? Setting up something, mm. putting the team behind it, let them crack on, yeah. and move on to the next one. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna spend too much otherwise time on that one. Otherwise you're gonna spend too much time obsessing over things. I'm very emotional that I can sell up tomorrow yeah. and I won't blink on it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you have to be emotionally, unattached. if you're starting off from the beginning, yes, your emotions are very good, but you need to be emotionally unattached, man. Because tomorrow you've got to make that bad decision of, you know what, you just got to cut your losses. You can't be to a point where you're just naive. Does that make sense? Mm. Nah, G, my bird's not cheating on me. When you, she's, she's cheating on you, G. Yeah, 100%. I mean, yeah. you're emotionally attached to a point where you're telling yourself. In denial, yes. Does that make sense? Mm. G, yeah? So, I'm not, I don't know what I keep saying to you, G, because <laughs> she's not in it. She's cool. I knew you got one. Fuck it. Well, then she's definitely <laughs> cheating on you. Yeah? But listen, so emotionally unattached, man. You've got to cut that. If you, got, if you know it's just going down the wrong path, just cut you off, man. Move on to the next one. Don't mm. spend too much time on that. That's what I've done. I've lost plenty of paper. But in the long run, it makes sense. Watches, obviously cars, property. So I do own a few. Do you know what I mean? If it's a good investment. Makes a bit of money on the side. That's cool. Keep it moving. Obviously, you've got businesses that we invested in. Mm. A lot of them. Be stocks, crypto. Um, there's a few other things out there. But I've, you know, I'm touching on too much. So obviously, like, it's one of them situations. Like... I'm telling you everything. I'm giving it all out there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, time's money, G. Do you know what I mean? You, I, you ain't making money sitting on your ass, innit? And yeah. you can't accept that. And I keep going back to all of this, these, these people that keep messaging me, showing me how to make the money. G, I'm just out there. I'm on social media. I love it. it don't, you know what I mean? I love it. So I'm going to not only show you the good stuff, the bad stuff as well, G. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I hope, I hope it's come across like that. Do you know what I mean? I don't want you thinking I'm just chatting breeze because I do waffle on a lot, yeah? But that is a situation, man. But look, a lot of people keep saying to me, gee, like, tell us how to make money. Tell us how to make it. Just, it's very simple. It'll cost you five bills. Should, 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 should we do a course or something? Just like, yeah, gee. Like, no, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll, I, you know what? I'll tell you what, right? If, if, if I don't know, not, not right now. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes in a couple of months. I might be freed up. If, I'll, 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 I'll set something up. I'll set something up. It won't be long for me to set up. But then wouldn't you feel, let me just ask you, Go wouldn't on. you feel like a hypocrite by setting nah. something up and then nah. not charging X? No, 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 you have to understand, my time costs money. Yeah. Right? What you're paying for, if I was to do something like sell, sell a course or whatever it is, you have to understand, you're not buying uh, uh, some little 18 year old kid that's just not even, not even been around, but it's not, his balls just dropped like two weeks ago, G. Does that make sense? Yeah? 
and <laughs> Moses, you dropped for two years. Get that bit out. Fool. <laughs> You're right, you have to understand, you, you, ain't, you ain't buying no course of no kid that's just balls just dropped like a week ago. Do you yeah. know what makes sense? I've been around, but I've done everything and everything. When I'm giving you that blueprint, bruv, it's very simple. You just stick to it and hustle your way through it all. You, you, you have to just put in the grind. You can't get this stuff overnight. And hopefully it might be a situation where, obviously it's helping. You have to understand, you've you got to invest in yourself. You can't expect me to do all the hard work for you. Mm. I've done all of that. That's all right for me. You're just laying the blueprint. You, it's your up, up to you to put that up action 100%, in. 100%, yeah. 100%. But gee, I'm not gonna take my time out and do this. I'll have to put a team. How long will it take? Three months for me to go out and think, I'm not gonna do it for free. Gee, my time's money, gee. Sit yeah. down with me. I can get people, I can make a phone call tomorrow and tell my people, you know what, listen, we're holding meetings and I can advise every single one of them and I'll charge them a bag an hour. They'll pay it. Because it is what it is, isn't it, G? You just time, you, the time in this game is what makes it, does that make sense? But look, we're not going to go into that anyway. Forget all this cool stuff. <laughs> I was just saying that just to, just, just, just scare off the other, uh, you know, the little scammers. I'm not a scammer, <laughs> by the way. I just, I just look like one because we rented out this place for the day and we're using your money to, <laughs> to buy the watch and just got just loads of money. Does this make me, you want to buy my course? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> make sure you take some good angles so then we can just post it for the next 10 weeks. Yeah. All post right. me a picture right now, put it in the thumbnail. I mean? Let's just sit, that's a good angle, G. Anyway, we're going to leave this on a better note because we're supposed to be doing something today and I keep, this is what I mean, I keep waffling <laughs> on. I get easily distracted. So let's just leave that. We're going to leave this on a positive note. Go we're going to leave this on a positive note. Everyone out there, one thing I say, right? <clears throat> Don't look at these clowns on the internet, right? We only show you, and I'll keep saying, what? <laughs> We only show you the good stuff. We never show you the bad stuff, right? <clears throat> so you're looking at this good stuff and thinking, right, this, yeah, it should motivate you, but don't think it's as easy as, oh, sorry. No, it's all right, sorry. Yeah. It's gone. It's, don't think it's as easy as it makes that. Unless you put in the grind and put in the hard work, nothing's going to happen, whether it's from selling sweets or selling, I don't know, aeroplanes. It doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen overnight. And you've got to put in the hard work. The hard work has to be put in. If you're not and you're going to be lazy about it, you must forget about it because you're not only wasting your time, you're wasting other people's time around you because you're selling someone else the dream. Don't sell yourself the dream, right? Fair enough. Anything else you want to say? No, that's about it, to be fair. That's what we like to hear, G. Yeah. One last question. Go on. Because I end it all this all the time. What is success to you then? Success to me is being happy. And Alhamdulillah, I'm happy. Even though uh, Allah SWT has given me uh, an obstacle, recently mm. right as far as as far as i see it is god will never give you something you can't handle and it's just another obstacle to me right and he only punishes and not punishes uh, he only he only he only, tests. he only tests the one he loves right and how i see it is is, is alhamdulillah I'm, I'm i'm all good in it my health is good alhamdulillah i'm on top of it i'm doing what i'm doing i'm doing what i love and that's causing bullshit steering up trouble which is i just love it in it Right, we're doing a lot for charity. I mean, we're doing everything what we need to be doing, keeping everyone, friends, family, in mind. And so, you know what I mean? So it is one of them. Was Alhamdulillah, we're gonna carry on doing what we're doing, <clears throat> and I just want people to get motivated. Man. Don't start because at the end of the day, you can stick there and get like hate, hate this there, or you can just carry on getting motivated and do something with it. Like I put a post the other day, I said you can make a million pounds today, or just make a million excuses. Do you know what I mean? While you're doing hating. I'm still stacking my bread, G. And you should be doing the same. So don't worry about that. If you want to reach out, reach out. I'll help, I'll help people. You know what I mean? It'll cost you a bit of peed, but I'll do what I've got to do with it. Cool? Yeah. But on the last note, the, the future pro projects that are going to come out, when they're going to be released and when should people look out for it? <clears throat> do you know what it is? Like I said, I'm a perfectionist. Unless mm. it's 100% perfection. Yeah. Like, that's, that's why it's taken a year. We've been doing this whole thing for about nearly a year, just over a year now. Mm. Everything needs to be perfect before it comes up, right? Over the next month, you're going to start seeing snippets, right? Um, to be fair, we made the decision yesterday. Obviously, I've been in Dubai for the last three, four months, um, three months or so. Uh, over the, uh, We've decided, we only decided the other day, we're going to go back to the UK and get this all. Pull it up. Up. So we're going to be pulling off people from other projects, especially just concentrate on this. Mm. And um, this is going to be a big one because obviously there's no one that's really done this in the UK. Mm. 
Not and on a celebrity level like that. No, no, no. Because obviously it's the big guys, isn't it, G? Yeah. Especially the other guys we've got going on, the big guys. So it'll, it'll be a big thing. You can it'll tell me off camera who the other guys are. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. You're going to be like, wow, how'd you get them? Yeah. Money talks, G. Yeah? If you want to be a part of it, send me a DM. We've got plenty of money to share around. Sweet. Guys, if you enjoyed that, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that sort of stuff. Follow Talio on the gram as well. Follow myself. You know what to do. And I'll see you next time on the next episode of CEO Cast. Was it? That was wicked. Love it. Ah, we got a lot of editing to do. My legs are numb. Oh my days. I'm so grateful. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to be a developer, so that's going to come. What you do, you just the whole team. Every single one of us. He watches up north. Challenge me. Subscribe. Do everything you need to do, yeah?